Hello, ladies and gentlemen. You may simply know me as Logan's Prime, and welcome to yours truly doing a reaction thing to Death March to the Parallel World Rhapsody. I, I think I got I get that right. This show has a very long title. <laughs> they could have just kept it concise. They could have called it Parallel. Uh, okay, I'm screwing up. They could have kept it concise and called it Parallel World Rhapsody. A parallel Rhapsody, uh, World Rhapsody, Death March, anything but Death March to the Parallel. It sounds like an episode name to me. Regardless, yeah. <laughs> Particularly, this anime has been one of uh, the most popular animes out this year in 2018. So if you don't already know, my, this guy, my guy, this guy, I am Logamus Prime. I'm just an individual. <laughs> what the hell am I going with this? <laughs> I've had I've had a fallen out with anime and throughout the years. As a kid, I really loved it. I liked it a lot. But as an adult, I kind of fell off really hard. To be honest with you, the last anime that I really loved, aside from like Naruto Shippuden, and even then, like I fell off after the Pain Saga. Um, I did like Dead Men Wonderland. I mean, just a few years ago, the manga finally dropped, and I picked up all of them. And I, I freaking love that show. There's not really been much other shows that I've I've try to come back to uh, if i remember uh, i'm trying to remember some animes i saw in the last five years i think future diary but i never finished it and i, I really like that one but that's not the point the point is that i want to come back to anime harder than i've ever have and i want to check out all the new animes and i want to check out the animes that i missed in the last few years all right on to this particular anime um god i'm gonna sound like like i'm prehistoric here but what the hell happened to dot hack like was it a show that just was born in a in a, a wrong generation? Mind you, it's not even a show. It was a video game first before it got turned into an anime. But the point is that a video game was that type of game where a character gets absorbed into the video game and, and he's part of the world. You know, sort of like you know, Sword Art Online kind of thing. Ever since Sword Art Online came out and it got all crazy and people all poplars and stuff and you get a lot of copycat animes that want to follow the same kind of like little story thing i'm about from what i gathered from the synopsis the premise that i read it's about uh, a guy a creator or a programmer was making a video game and then he took a nap he fell asleep and then he woke up in the world of the game so yeah uh, aside from putting on a headset and like being absorbed into the game, it's not exactly like that. Maybe it's a dream. Maybe it's not. How, how did he get in the game? What is this monster rancher? I don't know. What is explain things to me? Sure, the anime will explain all of my weird questions, and we'll get there. Yeah. All right, guys. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna watch the episode. I'm gonna dissect it. I'm gonna commentate. I'm gonna react to it, and then by the end of the episode, I give a quick overall opinion of what I just watched and where I think the show is going to go. So let's do it. Episode 1 of uh, Death March to the Parallel World Rhapsody. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Oh, my she God. Train without any problems. Our main character has a flip phone. It's running early. How dare he? You are officially disowned, brother. A lot easier back when I was in school. Like, how old is this anime? Like, from 2002? Oh, yeah. yeah, I hate Sunday schedule. When I didn't have a car... Oh, God. Sundays, me and buses and trains they would they would take forever and a day to, to arrive uh, yeah well so they're going to be very particular they're not going to show his face interesting why is someone quitting every day i wonder what that means oh my god looks looks like my browser <laughs> well it's time to start another death march okay who talks to himself i don't do that Oh, I'm going to play The Last of Us today. So with me in animes, it usually takes about maybe one episode or two before like the song kicks me and be like, yeah, it's a badass song. Particularly, this song sounds pretty good. <laughs> oh my god, I see a lot of, you know, girly thingies. You know, what do you guys think about the deep dive thing? Why do a lot of animes have that? Like, what is the symbology of that? Like, ever since I saw that in Kingdom Hearts and, like, Naruto, for example, what is the deep dive when a character is falling from the sky and falling through, like, the ocean? What does that all mean? Can someone help me out with that? I really like the song. It's kind of sweet. I love anime. They hook you with that song. With the intro. He's working hard. He's trying to get this done. I get it. 
I know that feeling. We, you think that recording is easy, but uh, I gotta, you know, get the laptop, record my audio, the microphone, record all of these. Then I gotta clean the audio. Then I gotta go edit the video. I gotta render it. Then I gotta upload it. I gotta create the thumbnail. You know, it's hard work. I can only imagine what a video game is gonna be like. Ooh, so what? He just implemented a sheet code. You should use my idea, the one that got axed early on. When you create your avatar, you get an item that reveals a map and three heavy-duty bombs. Cool. Okay. That's like a cheat code. If you beginners are taken care of, and skilled <laughs> gamers have something to play for. Since we're under okay. the gun, how about we just That's go pretty cool. <laughs> What's she up, a crying kid? <laughs> I feel like this show's run out of things to do already. <laughs> I have no idea what she's saying. She said, Mama, how do you not know what she said? Why do you have a flip phone? Oh, there's your mommy. Oh, there you are, my love. Oh, is she your daughter? She is. I'm very sorry if she bothered you, sir. About you can bam well. I'm just glad you found Just be like, yo, what is what's your number? See what I'm saying? Could have asked for that number. Could have got the digits. I guess I should test it out. Damn, this guy is working overtime, though. Hey, at least you have someone at home who actually cares. That's true. Why, Why are all these anime characters so depressing? Am I right? How come they never have someone to come old, home dude. to? You need to find yourself a lady, my friend. See ya. Yeah, dude. Could have asked that chick. Like, can I be your baby daddy? Damn, so it's the next morning? Oh, God. Like, I could not have a job like that. That is way too much determination. Man, I sure could use a bath. Jeez, you could use a freaking nap. Check your messenger. I just sent you an attachment with the details. All right. Ugh, I would not like to work in a job like this. Where you fix something, and then everything goes to hell. I wonder... If this is exactly how video game developers are, you know. I bet they don't have a 9 to 5. I bet it's a 9 to 9. And and that's it. He takes a nap and he wakes up in a video game. Yay. <laughs> so, I already can theorize what the hell happened. Since he's probably, he just did an overnighter, right? He's probably was working a few days straight. He probably lost his freaking mind. And, and right now, like, in the real world, like, there's medics trying to revive him, give him CPR, and bring him back to life. But he's he's fucking gone. He's like, he's dead. <laughs> it's like hallucinating. Of course the phone doesn't work. He's like brain dead. Whoa, I'm young. Oh, I didn't even notice that. I did back in high school. Interesting. I didn't even pay attention well, to that fact. It's a little freaky. Don't get me wrong. When I'm on a death march, I have dreams about fixing bugs all the time. <laughs> but I don't think I've ever had a dream where my younger self is actually inside the freaking game I'm working on. Wait. It's crazy. It's the um. World and FFL got slammed together. And of course it has. What? <laughs> Whoa. Is he seeing that out of his eyes, or is that just something in front of him? That's the name I always use for my test kit. Oh, he's a level one. You don't have any weapons. Three meteor rains and a map reveal. Oh wait, he does got some magic. This is the idea I came up with to help out beginning players. Oh. So he's doing the little cheat sheet level up system thing for new character thingy. Elite lizard people. What the hell? There are hundreds of them, and they're all level fifty. Well, I'm only level one. I can't beat them in a hand-to-hand fight. Well, it's. Why would you want to? Wait, how do they know you're over there? They purposely came to see you. Oh. I felt that. I for real just felt that. Um, that's gotta suck. Mind you, it didn't say how much damage he lost, right? Did it? Um. No way. Wait. He actually. What is happening? Wait, he's selecting the magic without selecting. What? Oh my god, he went all Sephiroth mode? 
and did Meteor? Holy, I'm assuming he did a shitload of damage. Sato here. I've been a busy little worker bee like any good citizen of Why? a thriving democracy. Oh my god, he's leveling up. <laughs> I'm just confused as to why... I'm confused as to why it would even do that much damage. He's only level 1, so it's not like his magic technique was that good to be going with. But he did say it's a bug, so I'll give him that. It was like a glitch in the system. Oh, there's still one left? Oh, oh no. Oh, it's one of those anime. Ugh, it's one of those animates they combine. This is exactly like a game. They combine anime animation with CG. It's gross. Oh, you suck. <laughs> Why is he laughing? Looks like his life bar is almost gone. Just throw the sword at him, like, ow, catch it! Oh, that's cheating. What are the? I swear, I didn't know he was gonna do that. This is the first time me watching this, but it's what I would have done. I was like, catch, bitch! Vivid dreams, but this is too much. This is lucid dreaming at its best. This freaking nightmare. Like an off button. <laughs> oh, log out. What? Uh, duh, right? Save my progress or log out. <laughs> You're not very nice to your players, Dream. <laughs> my max vitality is increased. What the dude? All. You're cheating. I'm level three ten. <laughs> is that the maximum? Where's the log? So that means you can equip um. Keep scrolling, keep scrolling. The abilities. I'll skip anything that doesn't make sense. <laughs> this is even in a dream, these things are complicated. Why is this game glitchy? Is it is tested out while I still have the chance. If I get into another sticky situation with those, <laughs> I'm sorry, this is so goofy but silly too. The hell is he fast traveling? This is a, a level 310 meteor attack. Well, you can't get hurt by your own magic. Why would he even do this anyway? <laughs> Holy shit! Oh, he can run fast? What? So if we're gonna follow... <laughs> if we're gonna follow MMO rules, it looks like he went to a different zone. That's why he got safe there? I better play it safe. Bye-bye. <laughs> There's loot too. How do you have loot? You have no bag. Nice. It appeared. Makes no sense. This is the best water I've tasted in my entire life. Unlimited fresh water. He wet his hair and it's still the same. It's pretty sweet. I wonder what else I have. Oh my god, this guy's filthy rich! Damn. Oh, he got a robe! Wow! Uh, I mean, you, nice. can, you need to get better clothes. I want to be prepared. <laughs> That's not fair! You're cheating! You're maxed out! You didn't even do anything! Can he, like, float or fly? This guy's really enjoying himself. I know when I play MMAs, MMAs, MMOs, <laughs> the backtracking is the worst feeling ever. Damn, how many places, how much time do you think it took him to just travel around? So this is you would think he could like fast travel. <laughs> I mean, that's cheating. I don't know when you can do that in an MMA to scan. Why am I saying MMA? MMOs, where you can scan enemies like this. <laughs> what the hell? That wyvern's heading towards the soldiers. This is my fault. What kind of enemies do this? When do video game characters ever do that? They're not programmed to do those things. They're NPCs, right? They're not real characters. Oh, what? That's shitting. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Oh, shit. 
Stab him with your spears! Damn, this feels like Skyrim all over. Just hit him with your rock! See, this is the part where I really don't like shows like this. Because they start doing things that don't make sense in an MMO. Like, stuff like this doesn't happen in an MMO. They don't just jump up and capture someone in the middle of the air. That's my biggest gripe with enemies like this. That it's based on an MMO. It's based on a character, you know, I don't know, getting himself stuck inside a world of the video game. But yet, they don't do the story like... He's part of the video game, you know what I mean? If that makes sense, I feel like I'm saying... I haven't played that many MMOs, so, I mean, I can't speak on them. But, at least particularly the one that I played the most is uh, Final Fantasy XIV, The Realm Reborn. And now that game was freaking awesome, I loved the hell out of that game. But I don't recall being in a party and then jumping in the air to capture my, my pal who's about to fall. What? Like, stuff like that is very unrealistic, and, and I hate when shows do that. You don't have to go out of your way to create unnecessary, you know, conflict. I, I just I don't understand it. I don't like it. Even in this particular episode where, like, our main character kind of, like, enticed that dragon, and the dragon got mad, right? And the dragon turned around to fight some random people. Like, that don't happen. That's not how it happens. Like, a video game is programmed to do one thing, and... I don't know, that's just, that's annoying me, but it's not that big of a deal, honestly. Other than that, and other than me nitpicking, um, the show looks kind of fun. It, it looks really vibrant, it looks alive, it looks very animated, it looks very rich. That's what I'm trying to say. It looks good. Hopefully in the next episode we meet some vibrant characters, just as goofy as our main one. If it has that MMO vibe, then I can see why it's so popular. And on top of that, it already feels very different because it's talking about things that that other uh, stuck in, inside a video game thing ever talk about. I mean, he's talking about leveling up, abilities, techniques, and stuff like that. That's pretty cool. I like that. So this is not just your atypical rehashing, re uh, copying your stuck on a video game world kind of character. So I'm digging it. I, I, I like it. It's A-plus for me. I definitely want to watch more and see where the show goes. Now, where does it go? I can see that the show will go on for the next, what, 12 episodes, 11 more episodes, uh, where, like, we'll never actually get a conclusion, you know? Maybe we'll get a sort of hint whether or not he's actually real, really stuck in this world, or maybe he's not, or maybe he's, maybe he is still hallucinating. Maybe he's still just... It's a very long nap, right? <laughs> doesn't really matter if he's stuck or not. It, it doesn't. And the point is... How fun is the adventure, right? So, all right, guys, uh, that about wraps up today's episode. Let me any positive or negative feedback down in that comment section. What do you guys think of Death March to the Parallel World Rhapsody? Uh, do you guys like it? Have you guys seen it? Let's discuss it. Feel free to like my video or subscribe to my channel. I appreciate it if you do. And as always, keep peaceful and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye.